How y'all doing today? It's your boy Eat Right Guy and for this video I want to talk about a very special and powerful spice that a lot of y'all may not be too familiar with and it's called turmeric. Turmeric is a yellowy orange spice that has been used most notably in India for thousands of years for medical and health purposes. The main active compound in turmeric is curcumin and this is a very powerful antioxidant that's been associated with numerous health benefits. Some of these health benefits include improving cognitive and brain function, fighting inflammation, supporting cardiovascular function, supporting the health of your joints, and optimizing liver function. And these are only a few benefits associated with turmeric and there's many more that's being discovered as we speak. So turmeric, it can be found in almost any grocery store on a spice and seasoning aisle. Turmeric is a very flexible ingredient to use and it can be incorporated in various beverages and dishes. Some of the most popular ways to use turmeric in your overall diet is sprinkling it in your smoothies and blending that up. Also, you can sprinkle it over roasted vegetables. You can add it when you're cooking rice. You can even brew it with tea as well. My favorite way of using turmeric is adding it to my favorite fruit and vegetable smoothie which consists of blueberries, kale, pineapples, uh, bananas, flax seeds, chia seed, and then I sprinkle about a tablespoon of turmeric. And you can't even taste it and it's very good and it's a pretty much nutrition powerhouse when it comes to a smoothie that gets me up in the morning and gets me ready to be productive in my day. And turmeric is pretty much harmless with all healthy people, even with people with various chronic diseases. But as with everything, there are probably some people that are allergic to turmeric, so that is something to be aware about. But one major concern with using turmeric was brought up in a book called Food Forensics. And I definitely recommend you read this book. It exposes a lot of things in the food industry that I didn't know about and that you probably don't know about. Um, and what the author found was that a lot of companies that manufacture turmeric actually expose it to lead in the processing. And so when this book came out, it actually caused a few of these manufacturers to voluntarily, re voluntarily recall turmeric. So if you do plan on using turmeric within your diet, which I greatly recommend, you should probably buy an organic version of it. And that's just going to decrease your chances of that product being contaminated with lead, which would negate all the health benefits. So if you want to know any additional information on turmeric, why don't you go down to the description and click on a link to my website and to the blog that I wrote on this topic. And other than that, y'all can have a nice day.